Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Martin, this is Boom Bricks, and welcome to a, another Boom Bricks mock review. This is another mock using the Porsche 911. So this set is 10295. This set is absolutely amazing. There's so many pieces in here to do different mocks. Now this is a mock done by Nat Bricks, my good friend Nat Bricks. He's built this amazing Ford Mustang. It's based off the 1969 Ford Mustang, and it looks absolutely amazing. So we're gonna jump in, have a closer look at that. There will be a link in this video, so go check that out to Rebrickable. You can go and actually download the instructions for this. It's $8.50, which is an absolute bargain. You get some of that quite expensive, but $8.50 to get to be able to build another Ford Mustang that looks absolutely amazing. So we're gonna jump in, have a close look at this, look at some of the details, see what has been done with this Porsche set. It's such a diverse set. There's some really cool pieces in there. So these builds are absolutely amazing. So let's have a look at that, and I'll see you in a few. So here it is guys, this is the Ford Mustang, it's a 1969 or based on the 1969 Ford Mustang using 1,214 pieces out of the 1,458 pieces you get with the Porsche set and the side profile you have to agree is absolutely amazing, I love the way that Nat Bricks has done this. So you've got the long bonnet which works really well with the sloping windscreen and the slightly sloping roof which sloops, sloops, which goes down back into the, the rear and it just looks absolutely awesome. I really like the profile. If you look at the doors as well, you've got these little scoops, these sort of air intakes. That is an amazing little addition, a little handle there as well. And all the doors do open up. We will have a look at those in a second. Loving the black strip that runs throughout, which looks like one of the Mustangs they actually released and modded to be black and white. So the colors work really well. So I spin it around to the back, and this is really cool because a Mustang is known for its rear tail lights. And with the parts that you get in here, you don't get many clear red pieces. So the parts that he's used is really good. It does actually work really, really well. And I like the way the sort of bumper goes down. You've got the exhaust pipes on the back as well. And you've also got that little tiny sort of flick of a spoiler there. But it looks absolutely brilliant. You can tell what it is. The technique to put this on is really, really cool. So you've got the little boot. So you open up this trunk. And then as you pull this down, you can see there is some little clips holding it in. So this is held in by a couple of clips. So it's really quite a nice way of doing this piece, this whole section you build, and then you just pop on. And it's a very clever way of doing that. Then you've got one of the windows in here. Again, giving that real nice sort of rear window look to the Mustang. You can open up both of these doors to look at the interior. We're gonna look at the interior a bit more in a minute because the roof is really easy to take off, which is really cool. It's a nice way to add to the design for that. And you can see there's also the interior is done really, really well as well, so we're gonna look at that as well. Coming to the front, I love the front profile of this. This is absolutely brilliant, really, really cool. You've got this front splitter, which you can obviously move up and down, but that looks really good. Loving the front bumper and the grille. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the lights into the grille there, just because of the piece count, there's not really the right piece to get in there. But it looks really cool. The headlights are really good as well very smart and you can tell it's a Mustang instantly by looking at that. And then we've got this bonnet, which is like a black bonnet, like carbon fiber. And we're gonna open that and have a look at that as well. So the bonnet opens up, it's got a little catch at the back there. And all you do is lift that up and you can see the engine bay in here. Now what I like about the engine bay, it's done really well. There's a lot of pieces in here to build out where the grill is. And as you look at the engine, the engine's done really well. It's more of a modern V8 going on here, but it's really good. I like how that's done. You've got some turbo pipes and these little scroll pieces have been used as the turbo. So it looks really good in there, I really like that. It's a nice design. The only little problem I had was this little piece here. Slightly overstuck these tubes, so it's a little bit loose. I mean, it's probably on quite tight now because I did give it a good push down. Loving the detail in the engine bay. That's what I like about Nat Bricks' builds. He does add a lot of detail into the engine bays and into the interiors, as well as the actual outside of the car. So coming to the interior, you can take the roof off. It's held on by a couple of these little clip pieces and this plate here as well, pops onto the plate there. The interior is really nice. Again, we've got working steering, so the steering wheel does actually work. Open up these, you've got some detail going on on the back of the doors. So like your armrests and a bit of leather going on there, so that's quite nice to add as well. You've got two seats in here. Now these come out quite easily. They are actually held on by a one by one modified clip and it just clips into the actual interior there. So that's quite nice easy way of those being put in there. And then we've got the dashboard. The dashboard's really nice. You've got to use the printed instrument cluster on there and you've got a speedo 
sort of dial there as well. Now, if you look at the car, this is actually based off the interior is pretty much spot on. I do like how this is done. The bulges for the dashboard up here are actually pretty spot on, really, really good. I do like that. I think that Nat Bricks has done an amazing job with this Mustang. I'm gonna just put these pieces back on. The only thing you have to be careful of when you're putting this back on, is you can see as I push that, the bonnet moves out. So you've got to make sure it's lined up in the right position. So when you click it all in, it sits perfectly. But that's me showing you this build. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's definitely worth that $8.50 that you're going to pay for these instructions. You can tell it's a Mustang straight away. It just looks absolutely brilliant. If you love Mustangs, you're going to have to get this to add to your collection. Keep this on display with the official Ford Mustang. There's probably some other good ones out there. Nabrix actually has a, another Mustang on this, more of a newer version in a grey colour, so go check that out as well. But that is the Ford Mustang, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. So guys, that was my review of this awesome alternative mock build. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you're going to get hold of these instructions. If you do, please go to Rebrickable, download the instruction, get this built. It is absolutely amazing. I'm loving how much value I'm getting out of this Porsche 911 as well. So if you've got one Porsche 911 kit and you want to get more value out of that, and rather just build it and sit there, do check out Nat Bricks's other builds that he's got on there. So we've got some really cool ones on there. You've got the white Batmobile. We've also got the Ferrari Test Rossa, which is a really good one as well. But I think this has probably got to be my favourite one. I really love the white Batmobile, but this is absolutely amazing. I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to the Mustang as well. So that probably swings me towards this one, but it's absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Nat Bricks, uh, yeah, give him some good feedback on his rebrickable site as well. He's doing some amazing builds and hopefully we're gonna have some really cool ones in the future. So do keep an eye on the channel for that. Keep an eye on his rebrickable page as well. There is always gonna be different cars coming up on there. There's some really cool little speed champions size vehicles as well, which I wanna do as a Ford Capri, which he's just released as well. I can't wait to get hold of that. So let's do that as well, guys. We'll get that on the channel. Thank you all for watching. If you are new, please do hit that subscribe button. It does help my channel a lot. Also, give it a big thumbs up as well. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.